for how to handle their free and reduced lunch programs if this shutdown continued. News 18's Micah Upshaw is here to tell us how local schools could see an impact if the government shutdown is or if the government is shut down again. Micah. Jeff and Caleb, the longest partial government shutdown in U.S. history has just come to an end. But if government leaders don't make a deal on the border wall, we could see another government shutdown. Local schools with free and reduced lunch programs are bracing themselves. The Lafayette School Corporation oversees 7,600 students. 70% are provided with free or reduced breakfast and lunch every day. The district gets meals through a federally funded food vendor. Superintendent Les Huddle says March is when the schools would have seen an effect of the government shutdown. He says in all his years of in the school system, he's never had to worry about food insecurity for students. He says one thing's for sure, he will not let students go hungry. Should we get closer to March, we'll start looking at plans A, B, and C, whatever those are going to be. One thing that we don't want to include in any of our plans is not to feed the kids. The government will stay open at least until February 15th, according to President Trump. Superintendent Huddle says this will give the schools more time to prepare in case another government shutdown occurs. Coming up on News 18 at 6, we'll learn more about the corporation's plans in case of another shutdown happens. Micah Upshaw, News.